Hi, I'm Rick Jordan from Learn Color Reading and FilmSimplified.com. And I noticed that a lot of filmmakers struggle with the chroma luma view in the color warper. I mean, the hue saturation view is pretty self-explanatory. It looks like a color wheel. So I promise you, you will understand why to use it and when to use it. Let's start. Tired of spending hours trying hundreds of LUTs hoping one will finally click with your clip? Say goodbye to guesswork. Simply upload a frame and boom, watch hundreds of cinematic LUTs preview on your actual footage live in your browser. No downloads, no need to manually import and test hundreds of LUTs hoping to find the one that fits. See exactly how each one transform your shot right in the browser. Pick from different categories and spot the perfect match in 10 seconds. Download done. Save hours on every project. Let matter. Find your perfect look in 10 seconds. Today we're going to be ignoring the chroma warp effect and focus entirely on the hue saturation and the chroma luma windows. Actually, this is the main view that we're going to be discussing today. So I found this shot that will make understanding the chroma luma window extremely easy. Let's take a look at it. Especially notice the water in the background. Let's begin with the hue saturation mode. Notice the representation of the blue water area and the scopes. So this area here represents the water in the image. So let's begin by controlling this area. And because the water is in the middle between these two lines, I will be using these two dots to control it. So let's bring them together so that they control the water. Then I'm just going to select both dots and simply move them to change the color of the water. Note that if I pull them outwards, away from the point in the middle, the water becomes more saturated. And if I pull them towards the center, so this center point here, I'm basically desaturating the water. At the same time, if I move the dots around, I'm changing the hue of the water. So I'm basically changing the hue of the blue color. So now we managed to control both the saturation and the color. But there is one thing missing, which is the luminance of the water or the brightness. And even though at the bottom right, we do have a Luma controller that controls the luminance of the currently selected dots, it still doesn't change the brightness enough and it's very limited in its controls. I'll double click to reset it. And this is where we need to switch to the Chroma Luma window. This looks extremely confusing because you're usually used to uh, seeing uh, wheels, color wheels, or something rounded somehow in, in, in color grading mostly, but it's actually pretty simple. The dots allow us to control both the hue and the brightness of certain colors. Not only that, they also allow us to control the brightness of certain colors based on the brightness of these colors. This might seem confusing at first, but let's take a look. For example, to the right here, we have the blue colors. So all these dots control the blue areas in the image. Great, but what's the difference between the top and the bottom ones? Well, I think it's pretty clear from the image. This dot controls the dark blue areas of the image. And this one controls the bright blue areas in the image. So I'll start with this point, I'll drag it down and keep your eye on the water in the back. Notice how we darkened the bright areas of the blue color, which basically controls the water here. Now let's reset this and now let's move it horizontally. We're essentially changing the color of the bright areas in the water. Notice we're making the bright areas in the water more blue because remember blue, controls the water and the point at the top controls the bright areas of the water. Let's reset and now let's try controlling the dark areas in the water. This time I'll control the blue dot at the bottom and I'll pull it up to increase the brightness of the dark areas in the water. And notice that we're getting some weird artifacts. These are not caused by the blue areas because notice that when we move this dot up, we unintentionally controlled other colors in the image that we did not want to control. So I'm simply going to drag this point down to reset it. So now this point is working as a placeholder while I brighten the dark areas in the water. And I think this makes what this effect does extremely clear now. It allows you to control the brightness of certain areas in the image 
but at the same time control hue with them because notice that now I can control all these dots and now if I if I pull them up or down I'm changing the brightness let's actually add another placeholder here and now if I control them up or down I'm controlling the brightness of the areas in the back and if I pull them to the left I'm changing the color of the blue areas uh, again I can for example just reset these to make it so that they work as a placeholder and let's move these dots to the left notice how we're changing the brightness and the color of the water okay so let's make the water darker and take a look at before and after so take a look at before and after notice how actually you know what i will reset and start over again so i'm simply going to bring the brightness of the water down and now let's relight the scene by brightening the athlete and uh, in order to do that we can control the red areas here so this is usually where you control skin tones but notice that you have a lot of dots here and if you control the one at the bottom you're going to get a lot of artifacts so what you can do is to control the second one from the bottom pull it up and you brightened the scene in the forefront so take a look at the image before and after before after how we managed to change the lighting in the scene with two extremely simple controls and this versatility combined with the ease of use makes this one of the most important effects in DaVinci Resolve but unfortunately it's one of the least used and now let's remove some of the red in the foreground so I'm just going to control the same point and now pull it to the left and notice how I'm removing this weird uh, magenta color that I don't like a lot so I'm simply going to move this dot to the left that's all I'm doing I'm moving it to the left and take a look at before and after before after so know that by simply controlling two dots only we managed to take the image from this to this frankly I don't like the highlights a lot uh, if I was working on the image I would actually fix the highlights a bit but this shows you how you can relight scenes very fast using this effect I hope this was helpful if it was helpful uh, please check our new product tired of spending hours trying hundreds of LUTs hoping one will finally click with your clip Say goodbye to guesswork. Simply upload a frame and boom, watch hundreds of cinematic LUTs preview on your actual footage live in your browser. No downloads, no need to manually import and test hundreds of LUTs hoping to find the one that fits. See exactly how each one transform your shot right in the browser. Pick from different categories and spot the perfect match in 10 seconds. Download done. Save hours on every project. Let matter. Find your perfect look in 10 seconds.